only people seeing this right now? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm looking at this camera. Hi, my name is Jennifer. I'm a group exercise instructor for the YMCA in the Greater Grand Rapids area. Today's class is a mat Pilates class. You just need a mat, no other equipment, maybe a towel and a water bottle. I am not going to play music today, so if you want music on in your background, noise for you, just choose whatever music you want to stream yourself on your phone, and we'll get started. Keep going. Okay. All right, we're going to come down on the mat to get warmed up here. I'm actually going to hit start so I can keep myself accountable on time. All right, roll it all the way down. Move my battery pack here. Start with those feet hip distance apart. Knees bent, feet flat. I want you to pull in that pelvic floor. Think about closing and lifting through that whole bottom of that pelvic space. Pulling in that transverse abdominal muscle. So really think about compressing that belly towards your spine. Make sure you're really monitoring that during class. If at any time you're doing something and that is bulging out, your belly's poofing and getting bigger, you either need to modify, which I will show modifications for different levels. So make sure you're choosing a level that you can control that's appropriate for you. Reach through those fingertips. Press those shoulders and hands into the mat. Now, once all of that core is compressed, you still have to breathe. So make sure you're thinking about breathing, letting that rib cage and chest move so that you can keep that core engaged. So practice a few breaths there. And I want you to keep that core nice and tight. Start picking that head up, possibly shoulder, shoulder blades and hands off of the mat. Take a look at your stomach. Again, it should not have bulged out. It shouldn't have gotten bigger. Make sure that stays compressed. And I want you to pull it up just a little bit higher and then drop down whatever your halfway is towards the floor. Pull it up, get that compression halfway down. Working at your breath pace. Very rarely will I make you go at the pace that I'm going or the number of reps that I'm doing. So make sure you're listening to your body. Do one more. And pause. I want you to bring your hands back behind your head. Stay in your ab curl position. Move your feet and knees together. And lower trunk rotation. Getting those obliques warmed up. Again, keeping that belly compressed. Letting those knees rock from one side to another. Couple more. And pause center, release those hands again, bring those feet back to your start position. Side bending, reaching towards one foot, bringing it back center, reach other side back center. So alternate those sides at your own pace. And again, you're still in your curls, so you still have a real good view of what that belly's doing. Exhale with it. One more to each side. Hold it center. Bring the arms overhead. Inhale and exhale. Bring them down. Last warm up. Inhale and exhale. And you'll notice as you raise your arms overhead, it's got this drag, so it wants to pull you back. So make sure you're fighting that, trying to stay centered and strong, and no up and down curl movement. One more. Pause, roll it all the way down. Give your belly just a little bit of a break. We're gonna go right into the 100 from here. Again, I'll show modifications for different levels of exercise. So make sure, you, again, that you pick one that's appropriate for you. Take a breath in, scoop that core, come back into your ab curl position. Now, everybody's upper body is going to be identical. Your arms are reaching strong through those fingertips. You're gonna pump towards the floor, nothing soft and fluffy, okay? This should be a strong lap pump here. You are inhaling for five and exhaling for five with a staccato breath. So your inhale for five and your exhale is Now level one, feet can stay down. Level two, you're gonna bring your feet up to your knee level. Level three, I want you to fire those quads. Think about lengthening through those hamstrings. And level four, you're gonna lower those legs towards the floor. Here we go, at your own breath pace.
last few. And bring it in, lower down, and give yourself a break. Grab a hold of one leg and roll yourself up into sitting. We're gonna do half roll back and we're gonna do some optional legs added in. But starting with feet flat, knees squeezed together so you get some added adductor use there as a bonus that will help hold that pelvic floor and back through that transverse abdominal muscle again. Rolling back into this, you are gonna hollow that belly toward your spine and bring it all the way back up to that tall sit. So everybody's depth as far as how back, how far back they go is gonna be different. So rolling back, control, 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 scoop, and lift it up. Roll back, exhale, and inhale. And inhale. Next time I want you to hold it back there, stay. Now your option is just to stay here or you can start to add some leg movement. So I'm gonna start with just alternating march, picking one foot up off of the floor. It is not an added crunch, so it's not an up and down with the body. You're holding that back. If you want a little more challenge, you're gonna to start to extend your knee. Again, fire that quad. Still holding back in your ab curl. And you have one more option, double leg extension. Still in your ab curl back, your roll back. Kick long and straight through those knees. Again, use that breath to your advantage. That exhale will engage that core further. Finish one. Release that, hug yourself really tall. Give your back a break. We're gonna stay sitting and we're gonna do seated spinal twist for some rotation. You're gonna kick yourself back on your mat. Straighten those legs out. And you're gonna push through your heels. So tighten your quads, pull your toes toward you. Sit like you're sitting up against a wall. Arms are gonna come straight out at 90 degrees. Now, if you cannot get upright, with keeping your knees straight because your hamstrings are tight, I want you to soften those knees, okay? So just let them bend. Your back posture is more important than getting those knees straight down, okay? All right, you've got three exhales. I'm gonna hit the wall, so I'm gonna move a little bit. You got three exhales to each side. Again, transverse back, pelvic floor up. You are going to exhale, two, three, inhale, center. Exhale, two, three, inhale, center. And even though this one has a little bit of momentum with it, the goal is to use your muscles to pull you farther, 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 using that to get you farther along instead of just swinging with your momentum. So you're contracting, contracting harder, contracting harder. One, two, three with that exhale. Make sure you're not swinging those arms across your chest. It should not look like that. If you're wondering how much you're using your arms, put them behind your head. And then you can come back out with them straight. One more to each side. Hold it center. Think about that tall posture here. Keep holding. And relax and let go. All right, come on back down to the mat. 
Roll it all the way down. We're gonna do a traditional single leg stretch and then we're gonna do um, a variation of it. So, traditionally single leg stretch, I will show you the modifications for the different levels first. Take that breath, scoop that core in, you're gonna be back in your ab curl position. Now, level one, you're gonna bring one leg in towards that chest, placing a hand on top of the knee, other arm down the side of that leg. It is not for you to grab and hold and yank yourself up. Okay, this exercise really shouldn't look that much different if you didn't use your hands, okay? But your hands are there for just a little bit of assistance, no grab and yank, okay? So you've got your exhale and your inhale as you're switching. Level two, you're bringing those feet up. Now that leg is coming in, but the other leg is extending out long, okay? So think that lengthening. Keep that one above your knee level two. I do not want it pressed down to the floor, okay? So it's this reach and length outward. So take a look at the belly, make sure it stays down. We've got an exhale, exhale, exhale. support here bring your hands back behind your head stay in your curl I want you to put your left leg down to the floor extend the right leg down and out and again lengthen okay from there you are going to lift that right leg straight up and down as a level one option okay level two is you're gonna hold it up you're gonna pick up that left leg put it back down and lower the right leg. So we've got lift, lift, lower, lower. Lift, lift, lower, lower. Do not hold your breath. One more time. And I want you to switch, stay in your curl, lengthen. So we've got level one, so just a single leg lift from there. Level two, lift, pull, down, down. Lift, lift, lower, lower. Now this straight leg lift here is gonna help prep us for scissors next. So we are actually gonna to try to stay in this ab curl. So we've done some endurance here. One more leg and we're gonna go into scissor. Now, both legs straight up. I'm gonna show full scissor and then how to modify from here. Stay in your curl. Fingertip placements behind knee, calf, or ankle. The other leg is parallel with the floor. You get two pulses. Exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Now, again, this is not grab and yank, okay? It's very light fingertip with that double pulse and switch. I can modify and keep, again, one leg down, and I can do a double pulse there, double pulse. I can also do a bent knee if straight knee still doesn't feel okay here, okay? Exhale, exhale, inhale. And again, you still have a good view of the belly, so make sure that's not poofing out. You guys have been up here for a while in your curl. Last couple. One more on each side. And release the legs, come all the way out of that curl and give your back a little bit of a relaxation twist. Breathe. Uh. 
Okay, we're gonna use that length in our legs that we just gained with that scissor, and we're gonna roll back into sitting. We're gonna start to engage and flip flap back and forth between flexors, extensors, and then from there we're gonna go into some more extensor work with some bridges. So from here, legs are out straight extended. Hands back on the floor. I want you to pull those shoulder blades back, open that heart, lift that chest up. Get that core engaged. Now, you're gonna do a back plank from here. So you're gonna do a hip lift up, hips towards the ceiling, lower down. Then you've got a single leg lift, lower. You've got back, and then again, back to those flexors. So extensors, press and lift. Press and lift. Now modifications for this. I can be here, knees bent, do a bridge, do a kick out or lift, or maybe a knee march, or maybe I just do my bridge and down and let go of my arms and that's enough challenge. So again, listen to your body. One more on each side. Now hold that back bridge, hold it. Keep those hips up, breathe. lower down. Bend your knees, roll yourself all the way down to the mat. And we're going to go into shoulder bridge. Then we're going to do a long series of bridge pulses. So bring your feet in closer to your butt. If they're real far away, your hamstrings are going to burn out before your glutes do. So make sure you bring them in a little bit, okay? All right, hands into the floor, shoulders press back. Get that transverse abdominal pulled in, pelvic floor engaged with it. You're gonna press up into a bridge. Be mindful of the body alignment here, okay? I know it's hard when you're in your living rooms and there's no mirrors to look at, but if you put your hands there, your back should be pretty neutral. You don't wanna be like over arched and really be trying to ram that and have that curve get bigger. You also don't wanna be completely tucked and flat trying to leave your low back on the floor. So think about that nice neutral spine, lifting up, giving it that good compression, okay? From here, you're gonna pick one leg up. You are going to flex your foot, bring it down to knee level. Point, flex, point, flex. You have three of those. Then you're gonna peel that foot back to the floor. Other leg comes up. Exhale one, exhale two, exhale three, and place it back down. Now, as we're moving from leg to leg, you're monitoring, yes, your body position, but how much rotation you're trying to fight here. So as you pick your leg up, I don't want that butt to drop down. Think about it being on a shelf, okay? Your pelvis bones should stay level. So inhale, exhale one, two, three. Peel that foot down, stay symmetrical. Inhale, exhale one, two, three. Peel it down. One more on each side. Hold that bridge. You can think about that button gut. And you're gonna give me a pulse right at the top. Press, press. Think about really digging in through your heels into the mat. So it's up. Make sure you're not pressing towards your head. 
If you're doing that, you're gonna be feeling more in the quads than you are through those glutes and those hamstrings. So you're just kind of at the top third of this motion. If you need to go all the way down and up, you can. That is a modification. Hold it up. One last squeeze and push. And come all the way down. Pull those knees into your chest a little bit. Again, just kind of rock it out. Loosen that back up. And we're going to bring it onto your side. So pick a side and come around. All right, we're gonna start with a side kick, and then we're gonna do a few other side leg series here. So if you back up to the back edge of your mat, and then you bring your legs forward to that corner, that's about 30 degrees or so. So you don't want your legs in line with your body to start here. You want them forward a little bit. What I want you to concentrate on here then is stacking your shoulders, stacking your hips. So you should try to aim for some air underneath that waist. If I stack my shoulders and my hips, and I'm trying to get that lift from underneath my rib cage. You're gonna engage a whole vast other muscle group area, including like your lats. So make sure you're not like just caving and slumping into the mat. You wanna really try to get some air underneath there. Pelvic floor transverse, still engaged. Top leg is gonna to come to hip height. You get two exhales forward with a flexed foot. Then as you inhale, that hip is gonna come back into extension. As you do this, it is not trunk flexion and trunk extension. So make sure your body is not moving. If somebody was watching you from the waist up on this, nothing's happening. You're staying really stable, okay? So it's really just this hip and below that should be moving. So keep that core set. We've got two exhales. Exhale, exhale, inhale. There's two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do five more. Five, four. Three, two, and one. Now, I do want you to move your legs in line with your body. Still trying to keep some air under that waist so your spine's in alignment if you're stacked on that shoulder and hip. I want you to start with just single leg lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, you're almost there. We're doing 30 of these. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. You're gonna pulse it at the top. Pulse, 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 pulse. Make sure those toes stay forward. As you start to fatigue, you're gonna to start to kind of use your hip flexors more and go toe up. So make sure that leg stays in alignment. Couple more pulses. And hold, slight point to your foot. We're gonna circle no bigger than a dinner plate. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, other direction. You're almost there. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and place that leg down. You should have felt that whole side of that hip 
and butt, which will stretch a little bit later. So let's give our hips just a tiny little break. We're gonna come into a plank, because if you flip right away, the other leg is actually gonna fatigue out pretty quickly. You don't realize how much it's actually stabilizing when you do that first leg. So make sure when you're doing leg work, you never start with the same leg all the time. You gotta start with the other leg, okay? Flip it around. So coming into a plank, you have a couple options. You can be here in your full push-up plank from your feet, or you can modify and come to your knees. But I am going to start in this push-up position because we're going to add some optional movements. So hitting your modification on your knees or full plank here from your toes first. Long spine. Now you can stay here. If you want to start to add just a little bit of movement to it, you're just going to take one leg and tap it side and other leg side. Now, if you are on your knees, you can add a little bit of movement from there and you can tap side and bring it in, but just be mindful it's not like this super big shifting all over the place movement there. One more. And release. We've got the other side to do for our hips. So bring it around. Come all the way down. And again, if you line it up on the back edge of your mat, it's kind of perfect for that corner, okay, for where your hips should be. Stack those hips, stack that shoulder. Get some air under that waist, okay? So really get that lift. You can make that whole side of your trunk work the entire time that you're working this top leg and hip. Get that belly compressed with your pelvic floor up and in. Top leg hip height. So we've got two exhales forward. Inhale in your hip extension. No back movement. There's two. There's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, 10, make sure you're breathing. You've got your exhale, exhale, inhale. Two more. One more. Now, legs in line with your body. Still stacked on those hips and shoulders. Get that waistline up. Toes forward on your leg lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, got 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, pulses up, pulse, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, hold, like point, circle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, other direction, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and release that in. Give that leg a little break. And you should have felt that entire outer hip and butt area. And from here, we're gonna go back into that plank just so that we're equal from those leg lifts. So we're gonna do a plank after each of those sides. So pick your plank position. Again, toes or modification from your knees. And again, the optional 
movement pattern is going to be tap to the side, tap to the side. that plank position. We're going to move between um, one knee elevated into our chest, plank into a down dog with an optional leg kick back, back up behind you. So there's a big movement pattern with this one. So I will show modifications, okay? So we're going to come back here to our plank that you just left. And if I start with my right leg in, you're going to bring that in towards your chest. Then you're going to kick that back as you move back into, I know what this is like, <laughs> into a down dog with the leg lift, strong through the hip, pulling back forward, okay? Now, I can pull my knee in, I can put my foot down, drop into my down dog, come back to my plank, drive my knee in, okay? I can modify there. If you're on your knees, you can start quadruped. So a little bit more hips over those knees. Pull it in, put it back, tuck your toes into your down dog, back to your quadruped. Okay, so you've got lots of different variations that you can do for this, depending on how comfortable you are with the bigger movement. All right, we've got one. Strong push, two, three, Four, five, six, keep that core, core engaged, use your breath. One more, and back to your plank, other leg, pull it in strong, press strong, one, Pull, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, come to your plank and hold. Lower yourself all the way down towards the floor and give yourself a little break. We've got one more leg lift, working our extensors from here. You're actually gonna stay up on your forearms just a little bit, okay? They're not underneath you. So keep them out a little bit. Think about lifting that heart, just so you're not laying flat. Legs extended, about hip distance apart. I want you to bend your knees, flex your feet, press your heels together. So this is kind of a combination um, heel squeeze prone with a grasshopper modification kind of thrown in. So from here, you're going to squeeze your buns, push your heels up, extend the legs outward, long, pull back in and lower down. So we've got to press, extend, pull in, lower down. Now the tendency is to want to make this movement come from your back. It is not. You should feel this in your butt. If you're feeling in your back, you're trying to lift too high. Okay. So press through those heels, squeeze your buns, Lengthen, quads tight, pull back in with those hamstrings, and lower down. Exhale.
Two more. And release. Press yourself back to your knees. And bring yourself all the way around into sitting. You guys are almost there. All right, we've been leading up to kind of a really tough one to finish with here. We did a lot of long leg um, lifts in the first half of this and kind of all leading up and prepping to a full teaser. Now, I will show you modifications because again, this is another big um, full body movement pattern. So full leg extension, full arm extension here. Be mindful of that rib cage. It shouldn't be like lifted and flared out. Everything should still be compressed even after you come out of each repetition, all right? So you are folding basically in half. So as you exhale, arms and legs are gonna come up and you're gonna control that coming back down. Again, don't hyperextend to get that lift as a prep. Modification, I can do a single leg from there, or we did not do this today, but you can modify this into a roll up where it's just your upper body doing your roll, okay? So you do have that option if you're familiar with it. So at your own pace, go ahead and go. I'm not even gonna count reps. If you get one in, great. If you don't like this one and you wanna take a break or do something else, do it. Because this is a big movement. Strong pull, 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 pull. And control your lowering. Exhale, pull, 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 pull and lower. The slower you go, the more difficult that's going to be than if you just do a big like and use that momentum. Like I karate chopped my arms a little bit on that one. <laughs> I cheated a little. Pull, 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 pull. How about one more? Now see if you can hold it. Now control out of it. And release. Shake it out a little bit. All right, we're gonna stretch for the last couple minutes. Bend your knees, put your feet flat. Go ahead and cross one ankle on the other leg. We're gonna do a modified pigeon here, laying down. I want you to control this leg though. So grab the knee, grab the ankle. Then you can kind of control your rotation, whether you feel like you need it left or right. But go ahead and pull that in towards your chest. Now if you have the flexibility to hug it, feel free. Just nice little deep breaths here. Relax your belly. Relax that pelvic floor. Switch legs. Go ahead and cross the other leg over. And again, use those arms to help control that stretch. Pulling that into where you feel that stretch that feather edge of comfort. Don't ever push a stretch so hard that it's hurting. that take your knees off to one side I want you to keep your shoulders back into the mat as best as you can opening up through that chest rib cage take some deep breaths other side let those knees roll over shoulder back
and release it in. Go ahead and roll it over onto your stomach. Let's lengthen that abdominal area. And you can come up onto your elbows if you feel enough stretch through the belly and the low back, stay there. Otherwise, if you would like a little bit more, you're gonna press into those hands, lock those elbows out, and relax through that belly. Lower down, press yourself back to your knees, and I want you to slowly make your way up into standing. So if you want to tuck your feet underneath you, make sure you feel stable. Get them about hip distance apart. And you're going to forward fold from here. So if you can lock those knees, keep your trunk and your head dangling towards the floor. And you change this into any variation that you want. If you want to add more of a yoga forearm grab, Again, thinking about that length heart down towards the floor and not just back towards your knees. Soften those knees, put your hands on your, did I say knees on my hands? Knees, hands on your knees. Tuck that tailbone, I want you to round, tuck your chin. Reverse that tailbone, back, heart out. Just roll back and forth through that a few times. And then the last one, I want you to roll it all the way up. Think about one vertebrae at a time. Head's gonna come up last. Take a deep breath in and out. Maybe one more time, take a deep breath in and out. And you guys are all done. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, so fairly traditional mat Pilates in the beginning with some different modifications as we went. So I hope you listened to your body and you had a good workout and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.